Uh, 82 Atlantic jumps in. Is Georgia struggling against Missouri a nothing burger, or is there cause for concern? Well, you know what? That's a good transition here. Why don't we go ahead and talk about it? Um, Write down my time here. Georgia 26 and Missouri 22. Now, Georgia could not score in this game for whatever reason. Uh, they didn't even score the same number of points that they were favored by. Uh, at the at close, they were favored by 31. I swear to you, uh, <laughs> this thing is just shifting on its own. It's just nuts. Uh, yes, they are. I don't think it's anything to worry about at this point. Uh, remember, they were without Jalen Carter. Uh, they were without uh, Adnan Mitchell. They, it's, they're not invincible, but they're missing dudes. They'll have everybody healthy eventually, at least you would assume. Uh, but that offense with Stetson Bennett was never going to be flawless. I mean, it obviously we know what Stetson Bennett is, and yes, while he did look great against Oregon, and he's looked pretty good in some spots. There are some deficiencies in his game that you can take advantage of. And it's not that Missouri is a great football team or anything like that. They're they're just a pretty well-coached team. I, I don't think it's anything to worry about as far as long-term propositions, right? I don't think that they are... Uh, I don't think they're an issue at all. Uh, if you look at this, uh, Georgia won yardage 481 to 294. They just couldn't get the ball in the end zone. Yards per play, 6.1 to 5.5. Uh, they ran 79 plays to only 53 for Missouri. Third downs, they won 31 to 23%, so neither team did a pretty decent job there at all. They they ran the ball for 169 yards to only 102 for Missouri. They had drive points, 20 to 10. Uh, that's drives of 60-plus yards. Missouri won the turnovers, 2 to nothing, so that certainly played in their favor. Uh, I mean, they made field goals. They made a lot of field goals. It was five field goals to four field goals. And this was completely unexpected. The fact that Georgia was favored by 31 at close. It was sitting at about 29 for most of the week. I don't think it's anything to worry about, really. Uh, Double O'Neal jumped in. Always calls for some concern. It just shows they're not invincible. I don't think it's that big of a deal. This is a sleep part of the schedule, right? Do you? As long as you get the win, then you're fine. Uh, They play Auburn this week. I would be surprised if they don't show up for that game. They're going to be back home. I think they should be getting some guys back. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think it's a cause for concern, but I have been wrong before, and I may be wrong again. Uh, But this does show that there uh, there are some flaws with this team. They are not the team that just destroyed Oregon. I think that that game was just as much Oregon not being ready for their first game as it was Georgia wanting to come out and prove a point, especially non-conference game in uh, in Atlanta. So that that's the way that I view it. I, I could be wrong here. Could be wrong. Uh, let's actually let's toss the uh, the stats up on the screen here so you can see it. Uh, the expected points, I mean, just went Georgia's way by the end of it. Uh, they were plus eleven point eight one total EPA in this game. Uh, Missouri just started to drop off significantly. Just you know, about eighty plays into it. Just just what you would expect. Right, Georgia ran a lot more plays. They eventually got what they needed out of it. And if you look, the purple on the screen is bad, and the green is good. Georgia's success rate was good. They just couldn't get the ball in the end zone. That, that's basically it. So I would not worry too much about this. They'll be able to score in other games, but uh, but yeah, it, it it was it was definitely a little more drama than I think anybody anticipated, and that includes uh, <laughs> Double O'Neill said no major panic attack. Yeah, no major panic attack there. Uh, just bananas. Just bananas. I don't think anybody expected that. Don't think anybody expected that one in that game. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.